Hey everyone, um, today I'm gonna be showing everyone, or you guys, what I'm gonna pack in my hospital bag. I plan on having a surgery on January 5th. This will be my third surgery in hopes of getting a stint in my left kidney. Right now I have a stint in my right one. With the first surgery, they were unsuccessful to get one in my left one because I have an obstruction, what they think is scar tissue. And so I have a kidney drainage tube coming out of me. Um, so third surgery is hopefully I'm going to get that second stint in. So, but the goal is that I'm going to go in. I won't need to stay the night. I mean, unless I guess like pain management or something goes wrong during surgery. So I'm going to pack bag just in case I have to stay in overnight or so. So I'm going to show you. So stick around if you want to know what I'm packing or if you maybe need ideas or you're not sure what to pack so this isn't my first rodeo okay everyone so i have my stuff that i'm going to pack right beside me so i'm just gonna grab it and show you so for the first thing i'm gonna bring is deodorant wipes um just because um the day of my surgery they said not to put anything on no lotion no deodorant nothing and afterwards i'm gonna feel dirty if i don't have some sort of deodorant on and I don't feel like, like, you know, the stick and all that, so. These smell really good, by the way. Um, hygiene wipes. Um, with my procedure, I'm going to be peeing straight blood, pretty much. And I don't want that to get on my underwear. Like, you know, wiping and everything. But, you know, sometimes that just isn't enough. And I want to feel clean down there, especially because I'm going to be sore, bleeding. So, this is a good brand. Recommend it. I'm also bringing pads because I am due any day to get my period just in case I'm on it while getting surgery or if I start it within that day or if I had to stay overnight, I'll be prepared. Cannot stress this enough. After you wake up from surgery, your lips are going to be chapped. Chapstick. <laughs> um, so just a pair of underwear and I have this really soft bralette. There's no cups in it. I mean, there are, but I took them out most. Just to feel comfortable while I'm there. So for whenever I am released afterwards, I have a pair of leggings. And, of course, a sweatshirt. Uh, either I might wear this one because this is a little bit bigger and baggier. Um, and also, this is the bag that I'm going to be packing everything in. Also, I might bring some hand sanitizer. Um... Just cause, you know, I don't know, comes in handy, you know. Also money, um, my purse, I'm gonna bring that, um, it may be a hairbrush, but I mean, at that point, I really don't care what I look like, you know, I just got surgery, so, yeah. That's what I'm gonna bring, um, I'm honestly really looking forward to it. I'll insert a picture of what my tube, drainage tube looks like. I've had it since the 19th or 18th. This is the 1st of January. I've had it for like 15 days. I cannot wait to get it out. I'm so excited for the surgery. Um, I had an MRI a few days ago. My urologist was like, yeah, it looks unremarkable for someone who has an obstruction, like we're good to go for surgery. And I'm like, yay. Like, I really hope that I get the stint, not the stint, out but the drainage too because it is so annoying to live with it's it's a mess um showering's a pain in the butt i have to wrap myself up with like cellophane wrap and tape and it's just ugh. <laughs> so yeah um so maybe by the time you watch this i've already had my surgery or right before i have it so Wish me luck. Um, I wish you luck if you're watching this and you're having surgery. You know, good luck, you know, if you believe in this or not, but I will pray for you. Um, just generalized prayer, like everyone, you know. I don't know. But yeah. I hope this video was decent and if you want me to make any more content of like what to expect at an overnight stay at the hospital, um, 
I don't know, maybe like advice. Um, if anyone on here has kidney issues or anything like that, I can definitely relate to. I've had a pig line. I've had the drainage tube. I've had stents put in me. I've had lots of infections, UTIs. Um, actually, last year I had an orally resistant infection in my kidney. And that's what the pick line was for. Had it for like two weeks. So sick. I was so weak. And actually with this drainage tube, I feel a lot better. I think it's because my kidney is actually working. It's draining. Like, I have hope. But enough is said. Um, if you want, leave a comment down below. Any recommendations for videos. Any advice you want me to give out or you have for me. I would gladly take it. Um, but I hope you have a good day or night. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>